Gaborum and Solcom. This is Rob Roy on your weekly teaching team. Guys, I want to thank you for being here. Let's go right to prayer. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you so much for this day, uh, for this uh, amazing blessing of a brotherhood known as Solcon. Lord, uh, I just pray that it continues to have the impact uh, that it has brought on not only myself, but on so many men here uh, and into their families. Uh, Lord, thank you so much for every blessing you should just so generously give us. And we thank you uh, for the cross. And we thank you for the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus. And I, I just pray that uh, despite our circumstances and despite our emotions, uh, that we always turn to the cross because that's where the answer is. And that answer is truth. And I pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. All right, guys. Got to have a drink, of course. All right, guys, let me take you to, uh, if you want to meet me in 1 Corinthians, and that's going to be chapter 13. Let me get over there. Sorry about that. I'm going to read you something that's a bit lengthy, and I know that you all are likely familiar with this, but in this day and age, I think it's a really good reminder of uh, what our mindset and where we need to be. All right. Uh, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails, but whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I also am known. And now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Guys, jump over real quick to John 17, 20 through 22. Jesus is praying for the believers. He just got them praying for his disciples. So he says, I do not pray for these alone, his disciples, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they all may be one as you father are in me and I in you that they also may be one in us that the world may believe that you sent me and the glory which you gave me I have given them that they may be one just as we are one I know that was a lot of scripture guys but it's all set up to go to this Guys, God knows how impactful and just amazing we can be for his glory when we are united. Guys, Jesus' prayer that I just, I just uh, read to you is asking for unity. It's asking for us to become one, just as he and the Father are one. And there's just amazing power in that unity guys so of course if this is one of Jesus' greatest prayers then satan's greatest ploy is to cause divisiveness and disunity and guys all you got to do is just look around and you can see the impact of disunity uh, especially here in the u.s man i've never seen so much divisiveness and hate and just offensiveness and and zero patience with 
anybody and anything. Um, it's just amazing to me how bad it really, really is. So I, again, I turn to you and, and ask, what is it that we can do about this? Now, individually, I would say that we of course can't change the world. However, when we unify ourselves on a common front to decimate evil, to pray for others, to love others, that's what's gonna be impactful. It's gonna leave the kind of legacy that you as a man of God wanna leave for your family and friends. So I wanna say, are you known for your love or are you known for your beliefs? Are you walking in love through uh, situations that you don't agree with? Are you walking in love with those who who act different than you, who vote different than you, uh, who believe differently than you do. Guys, we need to lead and love well uh, because that's our call, that's our command through scripture. So let me just finish this with this, guys. Do the, do the attributes that people experience around you, are those the attributes of hell or are they the attributes of heaven? that you offer and display to others for God's glory. Not, not to do works just to make yourself look good, but the works that you do, are they for God's glory? Because you are just so thankful for the gift of Jesus and what he's done in your life. So I ask you again, do people experience the attributes of hell when they're with you? Or do they experience the attributes of heaven? Guys, love is the answer. We need to love and lead well. It doesn't matter what your emotions feel like you wanna do or, what you, or your circumstances. And I know there's, there can be some desperate circumstances out there, but you can always love your way through those circumstances. Jesus had some incredible circumstances he had to go through. He was a, a wanted man. Uh, he was harassed and followed everywhere he went. People wanted to kill him. Um, he was mocked, he, you know, you name it. And look how he ended up. He ended up dying. However, he died with love on his lips, man. So we claim we wanna be like Jesus. Let's go out there and be like Jesus, man. Love your spouse, love your kids, love your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers, especially the ones that grate you and irritate you and, 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 and believe completely different than you do because that's what Jesus does. So thank you so much, guys. Appreciate your time. God bless you. Love you.